Let's see what our weapon talents look like. We haven't seen what the Unholy DK artifact weapon talents look like ever. Because we've always had our quest be bugged, but here we go. Oh, this'll be interesting. And you guys saw that when you... That the normal equip bonus is your attacks have a chance to summon a member of the army of the dead, which is pretty cool. We can look at some of the appearances. Oh, I see. Wow. Normal apocalypse. This is an unholy war. Oh. Wow. Famine bearer. It's kind of cool too. Different colors of famine bearer and then death's deliverance. Oh. I think my favorite is Unholy War. Like the red, all all look good for Unholy War. Normal Apocalypse looks cool too, though. All right. Anyway, our power. The first one is Apocalypse. You channel the power of Pestilence, dealing a hundred bazillion damage, and applying three stacks of Pestering Wounds. That's awesome. It's a 1.7 second cast, though. It does deal a lot of damage, though. All right. Let's start. Let's start from here. So, Portal to the Underworld. Your army of the dead ghouls explode when they die. <laughs> That's pretty sick. A Scourge the Unbeliever. Your Scourge Strike has a 10% chance to refund a rune. Okay, that's nice. Look at this one. The Darkest Crusade. Increases the effect of your Fallen Crusader by 50%. That's nice. So, more more strength and probably more healing, I guess? Maybe? I, don't, I, haven't, I haven't gotten a chance to enchant the weapon yet, so I'm not sure how that works. Anyway, the Shambler. Your attacks have a chance to summon a super zombie that shambles forward and explodes. <laughs> that sounds awesome. And double doom. Sudden doom can stack up to two and will proc 25% uh, more frequently. Looks like a typo there. This one says plague bear. Increases the damage of your virulent plague by 5%, so just more dot damage. Uh, armies of the damned. Ghouls summoned by army of the dead now apply additional effects when using their claw. Oh, nice. Probably like dots or something like bleeds. If they all stacked up bleeds, that'd be nuts. Runic Tattoos. Increase your maximum runic power by 15 and runic gen regeneration by 10%. That's nice. More more just resource in general and more regen on it. That'd be epic. This one is Unholy Endurance. It reduces the damage you take from the area effect or area effect effects by 5%. It's interesting. Cool, I guess. Uh, Rotten Touch increases the damage of Festering Strike by 5%. Uh, it's nice, just straight up damage. Increase the duration of your dark transformation by two seconds. That's also nice. Deadly durability. Reduce the damage you take by 3%. That's just straight up tankiness. That's nice. Um, gravitational pull. Enemies you death grip are snared by for by 80% for six seconds. Oh my god, that'd be really annoying. Deadliest coil. Increase the damage of your death coil by 5%. And flagellation. Death coil applies a debuff that increases scourge rate damage by 50%. That's a lot. So those those weapon talents are pretty cool. I don't think they're quite as cool as some of the ones that I've seen, but they're all just kind of like straightforward, just beefing your character up, which is nice. But no like crazy mechanics like we've seen before. But still cool, man. I like it.